And now another final piece of silent film. Uh, this is a true masterpiece. Uh, it came out in 1927, about the same time the first talkies were coming out in Hollywood. Uh, this uses, this maximizes, I think, the use of the camera creatively uh, to make visuals that tell a story unlike almost any film that's come before or since. It was, it says forgotten film, it was rediscovered a long, long time ago, I think about 30 years ago. I saw two screenings of it at um, uh, Radio City Music Hall. Um, Francis Ford Coppola's um, father uh, wrote the Godfather theme, the film The Godfather, which hopefully a few of you have seen. Another American masterpiece of a film that came out in, I think, 1971 or 72. Godfather 2, its sequel, another brilliant film, both directed by Francis Ford Coppola. His father wrote the music for the movies. Also wrote music to go along with this re-screening of the entire masterpiece of Napoleon. So this, in a way, is the last flowering of silent films. And um, I want you to watch it. Um, there's something called a triptych effect, where you'll see it just briefly, where three cameras are shooting a, 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 a very wide horizon and the shots are actually put together so you see one visual shot by three cameras at the same time. There's also some very unusual camera movement you'll see in this film. Um, so please have a look and after all when else are you going to watch uh, some of these early silent films in your whole life most likely, right? Okay, so Sorry to have so much of this, but again, this is the last time you'll be seeing much of it.